See, if Captain America is the first Avenger, then Iron Man is the first Avenger to start the MCU. Let's get into this review. Hello everybody and welcome to this series, I guess, where I will be reviewing every Marvel movie. Uh, up, I'm not going to say up till Infinity War, because this is probably going to go till Avengers 4. So, every movie, every, every, uh, every Marvel movie up till Avengers 4. I better start now. Because knowing me, with all the stuff I'm going to be doing this summer, I'm not going to have time to watch these movies. So, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with this one. This is one that started all ten years ago. Iron Man. Iron Man came out. I, I remember... You, you'll see that the only thing that will be playing in this like boxed area is like the trailer. So, no spoilers. I mean, other than the fact that you see the main villain, but whatever. But, I remember when this movie first came out. I was like five years old. And I remember... Me and my friends just loving it so much. We're like, oh my gosh, it's Iron Man. He's so cool. Look at him. He's all... It was like, wow. Uh, I mean, I liked the movie when I was little. But then when I was going to start this, I was like, holy crap. I haven't seen Iron Man. I've seen it, I've seen it like maybe three times. But I haven't seen it probably since 2009, which is almost 10 years ago. Mm. Man, you feel that is the feeling of poof, you're old. <clears throat> I'm only 14, so. But anyways, so I'm going to go by this act by act, like act one, act two, and act three. Um, and then at the very end, I'll give my overall opinion. So let's get on to... Now, most of the time with movies like this, especially superhero movies, it's Act 1 and Act 3 are the best. Or Act 1 and Act 3 are the best. And then Act 2 is kind of just a setup. First of all, Act 1. Act 1, man, mm, so good. Tony Stark's introduction with the whole, you know, he's all cracking jokes in the car and then just <laughs> freaking car blows up. It's like, oh my, oh my god. But, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, um... It just really starts off, it's a really good start to a movie, it just gets, it's like it gets into what's happening, and not into what's happening, it, you know, jumps in, okay, he's been captured, and then it goes a whole 36 hours later, so we learn a bit more about the character, it's is kind of slow, but yet again, fast paced at the same time, you're gonna be hearing that from a lot of these uh, Iron Man movies, it's like, it's slow, but it's fast at the same time, you know what I mean? No, you don't. Know. But the introduction of Tony Stark, it's great. It's, it's so funny seeing him in, a, in Infinity War and then seeing him here. And it's just almost two different people. But anyways, so then, you know, we go through and then back to... I call this it's kind of act one and a half. Where, you know, he makes the suit. The one dude dies. That's upsetting. I really like the whole scene of him getting the suit on. The uh... Yeah, there's nothing really else to say about Act 1, except it was a perfect introduction for a new, big, yay character. Now on to... But after some improvements using robotic tools, I was able to make the suit way more... Act 2 of Iron Man. It's... I will say it's one of the better Act 2s in other, other Marvel movies. Not most, but other. It's mainly being an origin story. Being an origin story, the Act 1 should set up Act 2, and then Act 2 should set up Act 3. No, <laughs> Act 2 shouldn't set up the next act, rather than set up the rest of this hero's life. You know what I mean? Like, the Act 1 was him getting the suit, but then Act 2 is him showing him build the new suit, and get used to the suit, and you know, all the flying and stuff. So, like, with origin stories, Act 2 should never be... Act 1 is to set up Act 2, but Act 2 should never be to set up Act 3. Act 2 should always be to set up the rest of this new hero's life. That's why Act 2 is like this only really work with superhero movie. You can't say something like that about the Titanic or whatever. But you can about... But you should be able to about most superhero movies. And you'll be hearing this a lot from me more recently. It Mostly it's in the form of a montage or something, but I really like how they did this one. The movie could have been... I feel like... 
with a lot of these early Marvel movies, I feel like they kind of dragged it on. Like, they could have shortened this movie down way much. Just knock more of out, Act 2 out, make it more of a montage. Um, but I liked it. I really liked how they handled it. It was fine. On to... Then I got rebellious over dire thing I jealous and he stole my heart in a completely non-gay way. Uh, uh, in a completely non-gay way. Uh, uh, so I killed... Act 3. Act 3 is always a big boom. Wow, there's the villain. Boom, wow, here's what he's doing. Boom, wow. Action. And for a 2008 movie, holy crap did this look good. Like, yeah, it's not going to look as good as freaking Infinity War, but it's still, mm, it looks great for a 2008 movie. The action scenes are great. It's fast but slow. I keep saying stuff like that, but it is. It's like, the, the villain, okay, I'll get into that in a second. So, Act 3, not really much to say about it. It's just, it doesn't really come and go, but when... He froze him up. I thought that was going to be it. But then when he came back, I was like, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, he's back. He's not supposed to be back. I thought he was dead. But anyways, let's get on to... So, the overall thought of the movie. Um, Tony Stark, I really like Tony Stark. The actor of Rhodey, I don't like him. I like the new one better. Uh, no offense to the guy, he's a good actor, no no doubt. And they definitely set up stuff for him, but like, ugh, it was bad. He was, he was not the best. Pepper Potts, holy crap, she was a bad actress. Like, oh my gosh, she was... The the scene the, in Act 3, when she's on the phone with him, it's like, Tony, Tony, there's a guy. Like, you don't sound scared. You sound like, hey, by the way, there's this, you know huge killer robot dude in the building. Nothing you need to be worried about. That's what she sounds like, and that's not good. You don't want to sound like that. You want to sound like, holy frick, dude, this kid's about to kill me with his giant freaking robot suit. You don't want to be like, yeah, you know, he's about to kill me, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I did in like any scenes with Pepper Potts. Uh, a lot of people say that they like the chemistry between, that's a funny word, between her and Tony in this movie, and I'm over here like, <laughs> no, they suck. Um, thank goodness Pepper Potts wasn't in very many more. Yeah, she sucks. She really does suck. I don't like her. Oh, uh, another character. The villain, of course, with Marvel movies, a lot of the villains are one note. Like, oh, we need a villain for this movie. Uh, for this guy. The actor was pretty good. I don't like how they... S throughout the movie, before you learn that he was working with the people from the desert place, I don't know. But before you learn about that, I was like, oh, I, I knew he was the villain, but I was like, oh, they're setting him up to be this really good guy, and then he's going to get upset, and then uh, he's going to change his mind, like, during Act 2. But then when you see that he already, that he wanted to kill him in the first place, it's like, mm, I don't like that. Way too one note. I don't like that. So, in conclusion, this wasn't a full-blown review review. I mean, it kind of was. But Iron Man, I give it a... Six out of ten. Would watch if there was nothing on. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and next time we're doing The Incredible Hulk. See y'all then. See, see y'all then. Video over. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you over. Video over.